Hello, Randall Monk and Rana Vazain here. Hello, everyone. Nice to be with you again. Coming to you with another gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. And this one actually comes from uh, the April 2020, I think it was, or yeah, April 2020 message. Most spiritual guides reside and work at a specific interdimensional frequency level of conscious awareness. As you lift your consciousness and refine your energetic signature, your guides will change. However, your special guardian angels will stay with you throughout your many lifetimes, for they are facets of your higher oversoul, and they will accompany you as you move through all your experiences on earth and beyond. Isn't that wonderful to know? And also to understand that we were not sent down through the many dimensions and left alone, left at our own devices. It's always been there, it's just that we've forgotten and we disconnected from it because of the frequencies. Everything is about frequencies. Energy is all about quality of frequencies. And so let's start kind of with the basics within our physical vessel, the attributes of the chakra system. It's like seven different mind centers. What we're doing now is integrating the five higher galactic centers. But we have all, we have, we have what we call the body elemental, which is also the subconscious mind, which is kind of the monitor and, and, and the overseer of the bodily functions. It is, it takes everything literally. And, and so put it whatever, like, whatever you put into it and so on, it's like it's a truce. So that's a lot of instinctual and programmed information that we have to work on that is not true and that is holding us back and that is holding us tethered to the third and uh, the negativity of the third and fourth dimension. And so then we have our conscious mind, our right and left brain, and which are linear analytical thinking with our creative intuitive mind which is also becoming balanced and, you know, it wasn't meant to be separated, it was meant to be unified. But what have we put in our conscious mind? How much of your soul self have you integrated those different times when we integrate more of our soul self? And, and when we integrate more of that, here again, it's frequencies because it ignites memory seed atoms within our sacred mind and within our sacred heart, and it helps to balance the chakras. And so that's part of it. Everything that you do that's of a positive nature, that you do to enhance your life, and that you do that is loving, kind, and beneficial, is all a part of that process because it all has energy. And there is a result from ever, the more negativity you put out there, the more, like I said, what you're thinking about, that's what you feed. They talked about the little angel and the little devil on your shoulders, which gets the biggest, the ones you feed, the ones you feed the most energy. And so that conscious mind, yes, the 3D mind, but as we begin to integrate the wisdom and the higher frequency thoughts and the more advanced thoughts that have higher frequencies, we begin to move into our sacred mind where there is a lot of our history and a lot of our divine blueprint, things that are waiting there, the gifts, talents, and virtues and aspects that are waiting for us to ignite and to use. If you don't get to that point, if you don't get to those breakfasts, you don't get that treasure chest. You, you contain the keys to the kingdom. You really do. You contain your full potential. All that, that, that divine blueprint for this lifetime was stored there in your soul self. And then it was downloaded as you progressed and as you lived, balanced, harmonized, and walked a positive path, path instead of enhancing the negative. Until then, you began to get inspired thought. And that's when you, the first things, usually you begin to tap into that, but there's always your angelic guides and your teachers that are there kind of with the energetically to try and get your attention. And when you focus on some of those more positive things, they're right there to give you, ah, that's a great idea. Ooh, that was an inspiration. And so then when you get to the point and let's also talk about that. There are guides there at each level. They're on their path too. And they are working, their, their mission is working at a particular level so that they can move forward. But 
when you complete whatever is there at that level you need to complete, you move on to higher guides too. It's, it's, it's all a part of it, or it's all connected. So as you lift your frequencies, then you are getting higher wisdom, but you're also, then there comes a time when you get to that, to open the sacred heart and begin to send forth that positive energy, you begin to type into the Antikorana and that rainbow bridge of higher consciousness where you begin to get the Illumin thought. That's the level Randy and I are working on now. How do you think? I've worked through my guides and teachers through Ty, Triton, who was my oversoul teacher. Randy has an, has, has a teacher, uh, an oversoul teacher. We worked with them. I worked with Triton from 1986 to 1992 before Archangel Michael came. And I can name you half a dozen of my different teachers and guides that during those years, the early 80s, that I was studying and I'm moving forward very quickly. And so you see what's waiting for you? You are not left alone. But it takes the work. You have to do the work because it's all about fine tuning fine-tuning your body, fine-tuning everything about you, the frequencies, and so on. It, and it sounds, it sounds complicated, but is it when you think, when you think that just bringing yourself to neutral and endeavor to do the very best game that you can, to see the best in everybody, to have more positive things, to begin to control the monkey mind, so that you are in control, and the ego, of course, was that little rascal that was supposed to be a part of the the uh, body elemental and our subconscious, but the ego got in control. It's supposed to be the servant. So the first thing, and in the old teaching, you say you have to kill the ego. No. It's a part of your personality. It's a part of our human makeup. But it has to come in control of your soul self. The soul self has to take direction again. And just those more and more facets of your soul self, you don't get it all at once. You have to work for it. What does that mean? You have to integrate, use for the greatest good, balance and harmonize it so that more can be given you. Isn't that what it says in the Bible? Isn't that what the teachings are when you get down to the Yeshua's core teachings, the core teachings of all the masters? And that's more or less the mechanics. And when you begin to see it that way, you can understand that, and you have to ask, they will not, your guides and teachers won't infringe, but they're waiting because it's to their benefit, because as you, as you extend, then they do their job and so will they. So here again, we're all working together. Even the angels as we ascend, so are they. So onward and upward everybody, we've got lots of work to do. Thank you, Rana. I want to uh, just remind everyone that we all have at least one guardian angel and in a lot of cases more than one. <clears throat> and this, this communication that comes from our angels can be very, very, very subtle. I'll explain uh, how my angel first connected with me years ago while meditating. I fell on my left cheek like a feather, just like a feather brushing my cheek. And, or it could have been like a, somebody who like a breath, something like that, right on my left cheek. And that happened to me several times, and so I started asking who that was, and it turned out that it was a guardian angel of mine. And uh, so be consciously aware. I mean, that could have happened, and I thought, that, oh, that's nothing. So be aware, be tuned in, and, and notice these little, very subtle things, yes, kind of subtle. Com communications, especially at first. And it can come from many sources, many ways, I mean, that they will communicate with us. Like the little ahas have to be yeah, yeah. waiting for the big thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. An attitude of gratitude helps a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, that's it for this uh, video. Much love and many blessings. Hang in there, guys. I still say the best is yet to come. Randy, <laughs> Randy and I, uh, we... Um, we're expecting great things because, like I say, what you put your mind to, what you can't focus on, that's what you're going to get. And yeah. we got, we have miracles coming. Oh, all about. the time. Yep. yep, all the time. Big and small. Yes. And we're, we're living in our beautiful hologram and I uh, have to say, it's pretty wonderful. Yes, Remember. it is. Much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours.
Bye for now. Bye.